warm weather has us thinking about taking a dip in the water. Before that happens, though, there's a lot of work that has to get done. The Buffalo Niagara R River Keeper has been busy getting creeks, rivers, and beaches in shape for the summer. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twila Nugent live for us in West Seneca along the Buffalo Creek with how they're preparing. Hi, Twila, are you in the water? Good morning, Ed and Katie. Um, it's actually the water keeper. They've gone through a little rebranding because there's a lot of water to keep an eye on here in western New York, and it's so important for everyone to take care of it so we can all enjoy it. We've got Carrie, the deputy executive director with us this morning, and Chris, who's manning a microplastics monitoring system as well. So while Chris is doing that, I mean, that's one of the things you guys do as an organization, but what are some things that people can do on their own to make sure they're keeping the water clean and safe. Sure, so in keeping with the stewardship theme of this weekend, we wanted to encourage people to really get out there and participate firsthand. One of the misconceptions is that you have to be an expert to be a steward of our local waterways, but everyday citizens have a lot of power in controlling and influencing the health of our waterways. So um, we would like to just talk about some ways that people can get involved. Yeah, absolutely, and how are some ways people can get involved with your organization as well. So with our organization, you can come out and participate in one of our monthly cleanup programs. Uh, we have planting and shoreline restoration events happening. There's one happening this weekend, in fact, up at Gill Creek in Niagara Falls, which you can still register for online. Um, and then throughout the summer, just getting engaged again in hiking tours, biking tours, kayak tours, come out and participate. And we have such a unique position here in Western New York because we keep saying 20% yes. of the world's fresh water comes through here. I mean, how special is that? It's incredibly unique. Um, and most of the places around the world, people are struggling with issues of water scarcity and not having enough water. If you look around, we have an abundance of water in our region, so we're really fortunate to have that every day in our lives. And for people who don't know maybe what it is the Buffalo Niagara Water Keepers do, what are just some of the things that you guys are doing throughout the year? Sure, so throughout the year we have habitat restoration projects going on, we have a lot of uh, planning happening, we have a lot of engagement, just getting out there and talking with people, doing education, working with our youth. Um, and again, I want to reiterate that you can take action in your home. So you can do something as simple as reduce single-use plastics. We mentioned plastic bags. We mentioned reusable water bottles. Um, you can plant native plants in your garden. That helps a lot with taking up some of that storm water that's falling. And there's lots of little things that every one of us can do. So much to do in order to keep it enjoyable for everyone, especially as we're getting this nice winter or nice summer, excuse me, after a long, long winter. We're still in winter mode, but we're live in West Seneca. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. Right? It seems like it's been so long. We've got winter on the brain. Oh, no. Thanks, Twila. A long <laughs>